So the solution tracks the activities inside the file servers. And with the file servers, we mean the Windows file servers as well as the NetApp filers. And inside NetApp filers, we track down the activities on the NetApp server mode and cluster mode. So these were the three components that we support for the audit for file servers. Now what the solution actually does is it's an agent-based solution. So we put a very lightweight agent on the file servers and it sits there on the Windows driver level and it tracks all the activities done to the files and folders. So your file server will be added as a node into the solution like this. It has a lot of predefined reports, say all modifications in the file servers. So once the agent is there, it will track all the activities and it will show you all the changes like this. So who, what, when, where will show you the operation which the user is performing. If it's a file read, if it's a file copy, if it's a file modification, or a file creation. So it captures a variety of changes with the files and folders. Whenever a user is actually deleting any file, creating any file, modifying any property of a file, or changing permission to it, all the events will be tracked. And if the file contains any sensitive information, the solution actually has a data discovery and classification module, which we cover in another video. So the solution can scan for sensitive information in the files, and it can alert you in real time if anything is actually happening to those sensitive files. As you can see, it tracks down all of the events, all of the file renames, creations, etc. It gives you the from and the two values for all the operations. Complete details are shown to you, the name of the user who has made the change, the date and time, the name of the file or the folder on which the operation is performed, and the complete part of the file. It shows you where the file really resides. And with the sensitive information, it shows you the related risk levels. And the from field, that means the source information. This is the information of the machine from where that user is accessing your files. So the solution actually tracks down all of the interactions down to the files and the folders. So this is how you get real-time activity. There are many predefined reports here. If you need a report or file copy, read, failures, creations, deletions, renames, you have to have some specific reporting here as well. So you can completely get all of the reports for the deletions and the rename attempts and the modifications as well. Again, there are many filters at the top. So these filters are actually utilized to go to your specific results. If you're looking for the data older than six months, you can go back in time. If you are looking for data for a specific user, you can filter it down to a user level as well, or to a folder level, or even a file level. So you can see complete reporting in here. Who deleted a folder? Who deleted a file? How it was deleted? When was it deleted? From where the user was connected to the file and folders share? So you'll get complete real-time user activities here. So these are the predefined reports. You can also create your own custom reports as by your requirements. If you only need to track activities inside a certain folder, which is very sensitive to you, you can create a separate report which only includes the changes of those specific folders. So that's how the solution actually helps you in tracking down the changes done to the files and folders.